The DJI Mic 2 is finally here. And the first thing I wanted to know is how does it compare to the brand new Rode Wireless Pro? Both of these units are incredible for content creation. And I wanted to make this video to let you see the comparison of what separates them from one another. Throughout this video, I will continue to switch back and forth between the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro, which I am wearing right now as we record this video. So at all times, you'll know which source you are hearing. We'll also talk about some of the features I really like on the DJI Mic 2 and some of the features I actually prefer on the Rode Wireless Pro. So let's just get into this thing. Now, before I get into this review, I think it's super important to tell you that this is an entirely non-biased review. I have not been paid by Rode, nor has Rode sent me this to try. I have not been paid by DJI, nor has DJI sent me this. And what I'm going to tell you about them is exactly what I think. I will say that I got both of these units from Cardinal Camera in Lansdale, PA. And if you are someone that is not local, it doesn't matter. You can get anything from them completely tax free and you can save a lot of money on tax alone buying anything. They keep a great stock of stuff and they didn't sponsor this video, but they were kind enough to let me have this unit so I could compare it right away to the Rode Wireless Pro. But these companies directly have not given me any product or info that I need to say about them. So this is as unbiased as it gets. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna get into every single spec. Those are easy to find online and I will put links down below directly to the sources so that you can learn about any specific detail you want. I'm gonna talk about the things that I think are most important from a content creation perspective and show you why I think each one of them has pros and cons and you can decide for yourself which one is right for you. Let's first talk about the similarities between both of these units from a very basic level. Both units, the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro, are wireless microphone units that have their own built-in microphone as well as the ability to plug in a lav. There are two microphones, two sets, transmitters for each unit with one receiver that goes to the camera, and they both can essentially do the same thing. They can take two channels at one time and send them directly to a source wirelessly. They also both have their own internal 32-bit float recording to use as a backup or the primary source of audio if you wanna use it that way as well. Both of these units also include their own case to hold the transmitters and receivers as well as to charge them. And they get roughly the same battery life, which is anywhere between 18 to 21 hours. So they can recharge themselves every single time they're being stored, which is a huge perk. Really nice to not have to worry about whether or not they're charged after you use them. And it's a really great feature. In terms of range, they both have plenty enough range for you. What I will say from experience using any wireless mic is that you never really get as far as it says. And it's usually best to have the receiver as close as you can to the transmitter at all times. But the great thing about both these units is they do record a super high quality 32-bit float recording. So even if the range has an issue in recording, you still have a backup. Both of these mics also include little furry windscreens on the top, which is really nice because if you are in an environment that is much windier, it really controls that. I do wish that DJI would have made theirs black because I think this is a little bit less... Uh, less visible when you're using it but regardless they went with the gray scheme because clearly that's more their their scheme so that's okay but regardless they both come with this as well both of these units also come with the cables to connect to your smartphone or computer usb-c or lightning now the way the dgi does it i actually think is much cleaner and better which i'll talk about in this video but both of them can connect and be used as the microphone for your phone which is a great great feature you also can plug a lav mic into both of these units which is really great there are some pros I think to doing that from a Rode perspective which we'll talk about and Rode also includes the lav mics where DJI does not but they both can have a lav connected and I think for most people that's probably the way that you use it more than you'll actually use it in the way that I'm doing in this video and for the record I hate this look and I never use these for this purpose but for this video because I wanted to show you the comparison of audio I'm using it I don't recommend this I recommend a lav or hiding this a little bit better We'll get into that. So those are all the similarities between these units and what they do about the same. They are wireless microphones that can also record internally, that can charge in their case, they can have a lav connected, and they connect to your smartphone. But now let's get into what I think each unit does better. So first off, let me tell you what I really like about the Rode Wireless Pro. The first thing, and it may be one of the most important when you really talk about audio, is the audio quality on the microphone itself 
is actually better in my opinion. I think it has a warmer tone to it. It doesn't sound as thin as the DJI mic does. Now, obviously that stuff can be fixed in editing a little bit, but it's at least worth pointing out that if you are straight up using this sole purpose for using this as a microphone by itself, I do think that it sounds better. I haven't noticed a massive difference in terms of the quality when you plug a lav mic into these two units. Now, obviously the lav mic itself matters greatly in terms of what type of quality you're gonna get, but the actual preamps and what's being used in these devices between the two is not a huge difference. Now, I personally don't think that the lav mics that come with the Rode Wireless Pro are that great, but I'm pretty picky when it comes to audio. I personally use other lav mics when I'm using these, and I really like the quality that I get from them. I love the fact that I can plug a lav into it, use it just like I would use any wireless system, but what's phenomenal is that if the receiver gets interference of any sort, if anything happens, I still have a great 32-bit float recording after that, and that's been awesome. One of the things I really like that Rode did and the DJI mic does not do is the locking connectors for the lav mic. Now, if you're someone that has never used a locking connector on your wireless receiver before, or maybe you've been using a hardwired recorder like the Tascam DR10 in the past where there's really not a locking connector, you may not think this is a big deal. But I will tell you from experience, there are times that if you're laving a speaker, a presenter of some sort, and you're putting this in their pocket or somewhere that basically it can easily get disconnected, it can happen. And there's nothing worse than going back to your audio that had a great backup and everything, but the audio you're hearing is from the mic in their pocket because the lab got disconnected. So to me, this is a super, super important feature. Just like the high-end wireless from Electrosonics and from Sennheiser and all those companies, this allows you to twist and lock that lav on, which is incredibly important. This cannot disconnect accidentally when it's in someone's pocket. It can literally hang from it and it's not gonna disconnect whatsoever. If you are someone that is gonna be using lav mics more often than not, and you are miking other people for presentations, I think just this alone, just that locking connector alone, potentially could be a deal breaker and should be maybe something you consider as the reason that this is a better option to go for. So audio quality and locking connector are two huge pros for the Wireless Pro, no pun intended. Now on the topic of lav mics with the Rode Wireless Pro, you have that locking connector, but more importantly, Rode actually includes two lav mics with the unit. Now that's great because not everyone has their own lav mics. Maybe you're looking to get this as your first audio unit in general. So being able to have those lav mics included is a nice little feature. They actually sound pretty decent. They're not as good as obviously some of the high-end lav mics, but I wouldn't expect them to be because they're included. You can buy these separately as well if you decide to get another one or you break one or whatever it is. But these obviously are included with the Rode Wireless Pro but keep in mind that Rode Wireless Pro is also 50 more dollars than the DJI mic. DJI does make their own lav mic that is designed for this unit as well. They're not included, but they're $40 each. So if you actually added two lav mics to this unit, this comes out to $420, this comes out to 400. Now, another cool pro to the Wireless Pros is the handle that they make for this. Now you may be saying to yourself, I've seen that before, and I don't think that I would ever use it because I don't record the type of content that is this. And I would say, most likely you're probably right. You probably wouldn't use it that often for this because neither do I. But what I did try it for recently, and it actually produced what I thought was outstanding results, was a podcast. I took four of these and used this in a podcast setup, just like this, on a microphone. Zero cables whatsoever needed right in front of each person as you normally do a podcast where a mic in front of them is fully acceptable and the audio quality was outstanding in my opinion. Let me hit record on this unit. In a podcast situation where someone is talking this close to the microphone, these things sound very clean, especially when you add some EQ to them, some compression to it, you can get it to really sound great. And this setup being completely wireless, I had five microphones on the table. I was blown away when I first got these units that was literally my thought of what i would do with this is i would buy handles and i would have it for a podcast setup because we record a decent amount but i was curious what it was going to sound like because i really cared about audio in a podcast but to my surprise 
these things sound great. And I'm not surprised because I knew they sound good, but they sound really good when you're doing this type of setup. And having that 32-bit float recording is amazing because in a podcast, people get loud and they get quiet and they are just moving things around like crazy. It was amazing. I brought all the audio back. I edited it and I was thrilled with the results. So if you are someone that does podcasts and you're looking for a really good, affordable podcast setup, this is a tremendous option. Even if, even if you don't want to actually put it on a table and maybe you just want to have a very laid back type of podcast where people are just sitting on a couch and talking, this is kind of actually very acceptable in a podcast setup these days. No one's really using labs and no one's using shotguns. It's normal to see mics in the shot. And just being able to have something like this is cool. Just throwing it out there. Maybe something you'll never use, but I think it's actually super underrated if you use it in that capacity. Also, if you're a news reporter, you are set. So I just shared three things that I think are very, very important features of the Rode Wireless Pro. And to a lot of people, I think you should strongly consider them enough that this may be the best option for you. So now it's time to talk a little bit about what I really like about these units. Now let's talk about the new kit on the block, the DJI Mic 2. I've been actually using the DJI Mic 2 for a couple of weeks, not from this unit, but because I got the new Osmo Pocket 3 creator combo, which included the DJI mic with it, which another whole video is an incredible, incredible little setup. So I've been using this for a little bit and getting a feel for what it sounds like and how it works and been really impressed with just the size and the capability of it. The quality has been really, really good. But this just came out finally, which is the DJI mic 2, the new case, the whole design, everything about it. And so far in my time with this thing, I'm just incredibly impressed. I mean, right away, the first thing you'll notice with DJI Mic 2 is just the build quality of the case and the feel and the opening of it just feels exceptional. Now, granted, most of the weight that you're actually feeling is the battery that charges the actual units. So it feels super high end when you're actually holding it like this before you even pick up the mics, which are very, very light. But I think this case and this design is just exceptional. As soon as you open it, you instantly see the battery life on both of them. You see how much time is left on the internal recordings. You have a little wheel here that you can actually scroll through options for, but this is also touch screen, so you could touch it right away. It's just a really, really well-built unit. Just like the Rhodes, they basically just quickly magnetize in there. As soon as you plug them down, they start to charge. Just like the Rhodes, as soon as you open them up, they turn right on. So right when you take these units out and you start, they just are ready to use, which is awesome. One thing right away that you notice in the case, which I actually think is a really nice thing that they did, is that they included these adapters here, the USB-C and the Lightning, so that when you take this out, in just this case by itself, you can quickly just take out a USB-C or you can take out the lightning and it's already built into the case to so just be able to put that right on your phone and start recording. You obviously can use the Rode Wireless Pro to connect to your phone directly, but that it's a cable rather than a quick little dongle that just plugs in the back and is ready to go. What's also so nice is they designed it with the use case in mind. So being able to just put that dongle on connect it directly to my iPhone. This is the new iPhone 15 with a case on it. It's offset enough so that it actually will work with a case. You're not having to take the case off and you just can use it in real time when you're recording. It's great. Like it's just such a beautiful design that they thought of strategically. And I love that they put those two dongles in the case because the wireless pro can obviously do that, but it's a cable and it actually doesn't fit in the main case, it fits in the accessory case. So if you just suddenly wanna record something on your phone and you don't have that other case which, with you, which adds more bulk, you can't. So just genius, genius design. And you just pop it right off here and put the cover right back on it if you're not using it for a phone. And then just goes right back in the case for storage. Now, what I also appreciate about the design is that they put the screen this direction. So when you are recording, and this is on your camera, you can see the levels and see the status from this angle. It may seem small, but the Rhodes display is on the top. So if you have this on a tripod, for example, you're going like this, or possibly having to stand on a chair if it's high, just to see your levels. I think it's great that they designed it from the back here because most of the time when you're filming something and it's on a tripod or in your hand, you're holding it like this. So being able to quickly see that 
display right there and have easy access to see your battery life remaining and seeing if it's recording and your levels. That's a really, really nice feature. I'm glad that they thought that that would be a better idea. Also, while we're talking about the receiver itself, one of the things I also really like that they put on here that I really, really wish the Rode would have done is they put an audio out as well as a headphone port directly on the receiver itself. Now you can change the settings so that the Rode output is actually a headphone output rather than an audio out. And that's nice that you can change that, but you can't do it at the same time. There are times that you might wanna monitor the source of this directly from the source rather than the camera. Let's say you're trying to figure out whether or not the static you hear, for example, is like the port on your camera or a cable going from this to there, whatever it is you can directly monitor this by itself. That's also useful if you are actually recording this as like a standalone audio unit to something else and you're not even using a camera so you don't have an additional headphone port out. With the Rode, you get one option. It's, it's either audio out or headphone. I love that they put both the headphone and the audio out on there. That's a big, huge plus to me, I love that. Now let's talk about the unit itself, the actual microphone and the transmitter itself. Right away, I will say that I think that the design and the size of this is great. I love that it's smaller, it's more low profile, it has little haptics built inside of it, so when you turn it on or when you start recording, you feel it vibrate, so you kind of just know that it heard what you wanted to do. You kind of just can get that sense without even having to look at the LEDs. It's super small, it's nice design. I love that they kind of made it like this transparent smoke color. I just think it's really, really nicely designed. The windscreen itself kind of just locks right into the headphone port like this, and it's definitely not gonna fall off anytime easily, but that's just how it kind of connects there. And then you could obviously just connect it to someone or you can put the magnet that is included on all of them behind a shirt, for example, and magnetize it so it's just in the front nice and clean. The magnet's definitely very strong to be able to connect it to someone. Now, if you're using a thicker shirt or a jacket or something, be careful because the magnet is not necessarily strong through a thick jacket or thick cotton, so it can easily fall off. But if you're just doing it through a t-shirt or something like a, a basic shirt, it magnetizes strong enough that it's not gonna fall off. We do use it from time to time, mic'd inside of someone so that we only have to see just this tiny little thing underneath the shirt rather than seeing you know, the whole units themselves. And it does get us pretty nice results, which I like. As I mentioned with the Wireless Pro, I do think that the actual microphone itself is a little better quality from the Rode than these. I think these are a little bit thinner in sound. Not something you can't fix a little bit, obviously, in post with EQ, but just from the straight up comparison side by side, I do think that the audio quality is better from the Rode. But with these other pros that I'm talking about, it still may be the better option for most people. Now, one really cool feature they put into these is Bluetooth connectivity, which is awesome because you can connect this directly to your phone or directly to a computer or something that has a Bluetooth signal and just use this directly to it as a wireless mic. No sort of receiver needed whatsoever. That is pretty cool that they actually even thought of that and that they decided to make it. Obviously over Bluetooth, you're gonna get some quality loss and you're also gonna get some distance loss. So it's really designed, I think, more for like a Zoom meeting or something, maybe like a phone, smartphone recording where you're very close to it. I would obviously not recommend that Bluetooth be your, your primary way that you connect your devices. But it's a nice little feature that you can do that anyway. Most times it might be better to just connect the receiver regardless and connect directly to the phone because then you get the better range and you get direct wired sound to it. So it's wireless to here, obviously, but you get a hardwired sound from the receiver straight to it, which is going to be a better sound quality than Bluetooth. So that's one thing to keep in mind, but nice little feature. You're suddenly out and about and you forgot your whole kit with you, but you have one mic because for some reason it's with you you can do that. I do think that the receiver itself is a much better, easier to use receiver because of the fact that it is touchscreen and also has this little dial. I think it's nice being able to quickly just tap something and the touchscreen allows you to operate it and use it like normal. You can also use the little wheel here if you want to adjust gain outputs really quickly. Much easier to do than kind of moving around the different buttons on the Rode Wireless Pro. You can see that right on the LED display there, you see the battery life of the units, you see the actual volumes of them, and then if you also are recording, you will also see a little red square that goes around it, letting you know that the unit itself is also recording, which is great because it's nice being able to see all that from a glance and really conveniently locate on top of your camera 
as I mentioned earlier with the LED screen versus having to have it on the top where you have to kind of look above it when you're recording. To charge them, you obviously just put them right back into the case and it will charge in the case, but they also all have their own individual USB-C cable that you can just charge a single unit by itself if you ever need to. If you're ever actually using it, you can plug this in and actually charge it while you're using it. The Rode Wireless Pro also does that, but USB-C on the back of all the units allow you to charge it directly. So which microphone setup is better for you? I think the question is gonna come down to what is the primary purpose of what you're doing with these microphones? If you are someone that simply uses a lav mic more often than not, and you specifically use it to mic other people up, presenters, keynote speakers, whatever it is, I would go personally with the Rode Wireless Pro because of those locking connectors, because all the little pros here and there that I mentioned aren't necessarily gonna sway you to choose this mic instead. That locking connector though could be a game changer for you. Now, whether you decide to purchase the Rode Wireless Mic Pro or you decide to purchase the DJI Mic 2, there are a lot of options when it comes to where you purchase them. But if I could recommend the place that I always use, it's not what you probably think. It's actually a company in Lansdale, Pennsylvania called Cardinal Camera and you can buy everything online from them as well. It'll ship just as fast as B&H and Amazon, but more importantly, you don't have to pay sales tax. And that saves you a lot of money when it comes to a lot of these retailers online. So if you wanna get these tax-free, shipped right to your door very quickly, just like any other company online, please click the link below, support these guys. They're a local company that has a great stock of stuff. They have 50 of these just sitting waiting for you to order if you're interested in them, and they'll ship them out to you same day and get them right to you. So I really appreciate them. They hook me up with that tax-free discount every single time I purchase things, and that saves you thousands of dollars when you're talking about some of this type of gear. So either one of these units are awesome, and it is amazing that we have gotten to this day and age where for an unbelievably affordable price, you can have two high quality wireless microphones that are also their own microphones built in that also have 32 bit float recording built in that also charge in their own little units. That price point is just exceptional when you really think about how affordable that is and how much they could charge if they wanted to just factor in what all the competitors in a high end wireless market are doing. But it's great that we live in a day and age where there's a thing called competition and these guys are battling it out. Rode has been an audio company for a long time, so there's definitely something to be said about audio quality and then prioritizing audio over maybe some of the little things that DJI has done. DJI obviously is known for their drones and they are getting into this space and doing really well with these microphones, but Rode is a trusted audio company that has been around for a long time. So I expected, as I saw, that the audio quality would be a little bit better from these. But most people, unfortunately, don't care enough about audio that I don't know if people are gonna choose that alone. So you make the choice. What do you think? Hopefully this review was helpful. If you wanna see more reviews like this, let me know if you have any specific questions about any of these units. Let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them for you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.